Did you know that you can do more with your computer and then complain about stuff on social media? <laughs> I know, crazy, right? But true. Artificial intelligence can give a computer the power not only to think like a human, but outthink a human. Intrigued? Frightened? Want to make your own HAL 9000 or Skynet or even just a machine that can beat you at chess? Well, well, start taking notes because this is Epic How To. Eventually end the world and the human race. I'm sorry, I meant create an artificial intelligence. Though the ancient Greeks dreamed of machines capable of reproducing human thoughts and emotions, British mathematician Alan Turing is considered the father of modern artificial intelligence. He argued that the human brain is essentially like a computer, and that in the future, there would be computers that could duplicate human intelligence. In 1950, Turing created a test to determine whether a machine could actually think like a person. Known as the Turing test, it states that if a person can interact with a computer and be fooled into thinking it's a human, then the machine has artificial intelligence. True artificial intelligence is different than most computers. While a computer can solve problems, true artificial intelligence can think for itself, learning on its own and solving problems far beyond what its creator originally intended. And what exactly can you use your fancy new AI for? Welp, if you're feeling generous, you could use your AI to create a utopian society. Scientists believe truly super intelligent AI could put an end to all war, eradicate disease and poverty, create renewable energy sources, and eliminate the need for human beings to even have jobs at all. But that comes with the teeny tiny downside that a super intelligent AI just might spell the end of human life as we know it. Or at least that's what prominent geniuses Stephen Hawking and Elon Musk think. Musk himself said that AI is our biggest existential threat and more dangerous than nuclear weapons. But AIs weren't always so threatening. In the early 60s, IBM's Arthur Samuel developed a checkers program that could beat amateur players and even challenge the current world champion. In 1965, MIT's Joseph Weizenbaum created ELIZA, an AI that could have a basic conversation with humans through text input. At the time, ELIZA was so revolutionary that some therapists were convinced they could use it on their patients. But AI development didn't stop there. In the modern age, AIs have become more powerful and more human-like than anyone could have ever imagined. In May of 1997, IBM's Deep Blue computer became the first artificial intelligence to defeat a world chess champion. Deep Blue had the computational power to crunch 200 million moves in one second. IBM followed that up with Watson, a new AI that could not only play Jeopardy, but consistently beat human competition. In 2011, it defeated former champions Brad Rutter and Ken Jennings. Watson's brain consisted of 16 terabytes of memory and around 2,800 processor cores, and took up an entire room. Researchers at Queen Mary University of London have created an AI that can create its own magic tricks. The AI was given outlines of how popular magic tricks work, and with that data, was able to construct entirely new tricks. In 2014, an AI named Eugene Gutzman passed the Turing test. The program, who pretended to be a 13-year-old boy from the Ukraine, like you do, who spoke English as a second language, successfully convinced 33% of the judges it was human. So, now that you know where we're at with AI currently, how can you make an artificial intelligence of your very own? First off, you need to learn how to program. While programming language Lisp was popular in the early years of AI, currently scientists use all sorts of languages, such as C and C++. Beyond that, you'll need to get up to date on all the latest fields of AI research. There's neural network, the study of how the human brain works. There's also neural image recognition, speech processing, decision tree learning, and a slew of others that require decades of study and advanced degrees. <laughs> hey, nobody said this stuff was easy. But let's be honest, you don't have the time or the energy to do all that. But you're not out of luck. You can contribute to other people's AI development projects. One such project is headed by Vicarious FPC, a, a company that looks to recreate the human brain computer code, essentially creating a person that exists on a computer. If that interests you, you're not alone. In 2014, Elon Musk, Mark Zuckerberg, and Ashton Kutcher joined together to invest $40 million in the company. I know. What's, what's that guy doing in that threesome, man? Get out of here, Musk. Google has been developing Google Brain, a neural network of over 16,000 computers that has the ability to learn how to recognize cats in photographs. And while a computer that can learn might sound scary, don't start panicking quite yet. Google Brain required hundreds of thousands of cat photos, and still, it's not better at recognizing cats than a small child. 
There's also MIT's Moses Project, which looks to help AIs understand language in a more natural way. You can easily contribute by uploading text documents and rating its understanding of the text. Now, you're ready to go with your super intelligent AI, but keep in mind that AIs are capable of some really creepy stuff. PhD student Michael Cook created an AI named Angelina that's capable of creating video games. That's cool. The game the AI created is super weird though, involving navigating a maze surrounded by giant human statues, all while creepy ambient music plays. According to the AI, the game is about a disgruntled child, the founder. Researchers at Google have created an AI designed to work as online technical support. However, when they decided to ask the AI about the meaning of life, the AI freaked out and said, I don't have ethics, and berated the researchers for not having children or believing in God. What the? <laughs> what? Scientists at the University of Tennessee created a supercomputer named Nautilus that actually might be capable of predicting the future. For real. Scientists fed the AI millions of news articles from 1945 onward and asked it to make predictions of future events. One such prediction was the exact location of Osama bin Laden. Of course, this experiment was done well after bin Laden's capture, but scientists are now looking into what else AI can predict. And look at that! We're at the conclusion. You've got your super intelligent AI ready to take mankind into the future. Let's just hope it doesn't go rogue, you know? Cause that would suck. So like, when you're designing it, maybe, uh, maybe make sure there's an off switch and then trick it into thinking that that off switch is like for robot candy. This, this has been Epic How To, I'm sorry. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't just hit the like button here. Check out our friends over at Wisecrack. Wisecrack makes videos that dive into the deeper meaning behind your favorite movies, TV shows, and video games. They're super smart, man. So check out Wisecrack, subscribe, and tell them Omni sent you.